To install the power back plane, we need to make sure that the AC power is on the bottom facing the back of the XLS. This particular unit is dual sided. These connectors here are what connects the drive bay, the LCD panel, and the robotics. This is what we need facing the back. This is what connects the power supplies, the battery, and the actual power. To install this, we need to slide it in. And to make it easier, I like to put one screw on the top so I can hold the board in place while I'm able to get the other screws in. Once we have installed all 12 screws fastening the power back plane to the XLS, we're going to go ahead and slide back the power input module. Since we removed the power input module, the grounding strap, we need to go ahead and put that on first. And before we get this tightened in, I like to go ahead and put the AC power connector back on. It makes it a little bit easier because the cord needs to slide in between this groove. Go ahead and connect all two of our screws here to the input module. After installing the, the power input module, we can go ahead and install the panel that holds the carousel controller. Once again, on this panel, I like to go ahead and put at least one screw in there so I can hold the panel up while I'm screwing in the rest of the panel. Now that we've got the panel installed, we can go ahead and reconnect all our cables to the carousel controller board. After we've connected all the cables on the carousel controller board, we want to go around to the front and we want to connect our power supply controller to the power back plane. When we connect the power supply controller, we want, to, we want to take note that these blocks here go into the pin blocks that we see on here. These are very brittle and they can bend. So when we put the power supply controller in, we need to make sure that we line it up properly before actually pushing down. The easiest way to do that is kind of get it at the side and get one row of pins in and then kind of tilt it, rotate it towards you. And this will go ahead and slide the remaining pins in. Once we get the power supply controller installed, we can go ahead and fasten it with the two screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. Once we have the two screws fastened, we want to go ahead and take and reconnect our three bottom connectors. Each connector is marked. This is PC power supply, robotic, and user interface, carousel 5, carousel 5. We just need to basically match up the connections. Once we have all the connections made, 
we can go ahead and move back down our our bottom cover plate and we can fasten the two screws on the side and two screws on the bottom. Once that has been complete, we can go ahead and reconnect our bottom light curtain connector. Once we've taken care of the bottom plate with the light curtain board connector, we can go around to the back and we can go ahead and install our filler plate again. With the filler plate, we want to make sure that the, the wings or the notches are on the outside and they line up on the inside of here. Now once again, depending on if this has a drive bay or not, you will need to reconnect the power connector. You may need to kind of wiggle it in a little bit to make sure nothing is holding it. And then push it in. Once we have it in, we're going to go ahead and fasten the four screws. Now that we've fastened our four screws, we can go ahead and slide back in the battery controller along with the power supplies. Now we can go ahead and put on the front cover. When putting on the front cover, we want to make sure that the cables that we just connected are tight together. And we can go ahead and put on the cover. Now the cover has two screws. For this demonstration, I'm just going to put on the top screw. The second screw is going to go here. Once we go ahead and finish the cover up, the last piece is to move the hinge on the door to the bottom and reconnect the door interlock power. we have that in place, we can go ahead and tighten the three screws. Now once again, when you push this, or when you pull this, the door is going to close. So we need to kind of wedge ourselves in there. Now that concludes our replacement of the power backplane.